Hi everyone, welcome to the very first session on sets in Python. In this session, we will learn about what is a set and then I will also explain the difference between the immutable and hashable objects. So let's start. Python built-in type set has the following characteristics. Set are unordered, set elements are unique and it does not allow duplicate elements. Also, set itself may be modified, but the element contained in the set must be hashable. So the moment we touch this hashable uh, topic, so let's proceed further. Objects ca that cannot be changed after it's created is called the immutable objects. It means the moment it is created like string or uh, integer or a float value, the moment it is assigned, the moment a tuple is created, it cannot be changed. So they are called immutable objects. Objects on which hash function work is called hashable object. In Python, any immutable object such as the integer, boolean, string, or tuple is hashable, which means its value does not change during its lifetime. This allows Python to create a unique hash value to identify it, which can be used by dictionary to track unique keys and which in turn helps to track the unique values. Okay, suppose we say string s1 is equals to hello Imran. Okay, we will execute it and we'll say s1 is hello Imran. Now what we'll do, we will try to append s1 dot append and we will say hello Imran, hello. Now, will th whether this will work, it will not because strings are immutable. It will not, it will say a string object has no attribute append. Similarly, if we say s1 of 0, okay, is h. Now what we'll do, s1 of 0, we'll try to give some value k. Whether this will work, it will fail. Because the concept of immutables, okay, will come into picture. The moment you have created the assigned a value to a string, you, you cannot change it. You can concatenate it with some other value, but this value will remain the same in the variable s1. Similarly, similar will be the case of the integer. So what we'll do, we'll say suppose x is equal to 100. Now we'll say x dot append 1. It will not work. When we say that hashable in Python, any immutable object such as integer, boolean, string, tuple is hashable, which means the value does not change during its lifetime. So what we'll do, we'll apply hash function on the variable on the string s. Okay. So we will get this value. We will again apply the hash function on the same string s1. And if you see, even if we apply 100 times, the value does not change. So what I have said here, hashable means its value does not change during its lifetime. So it is not changing. It will remain the same. Okay. The moment you change its value, you reassign it and then it will again remain the same for its lifetime. After this, what I have said. This allows Python to create a unique, unique hash values to identify. This value will be unique. To identify it, which can be used by dictionaries to track the unique keys and which in turn helps to track the unique values. Now let's apply this. We'll say, we know, right? X is, type of X is integer. Now let's apply hash function on this integer. It is 100. Now apply hash function on 1001. The formula for hash function is simple. It will be your x modulus of 2 to the power of 61 minus 1. So if you apply hash on hash function on 100, it will be the or hash on x, it will be 100. Now, even if you say you take a bigger number, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2. Okay. I'm not taking a smaller number. It's quite a big number. We apply a hash number, hash function on this. Now, after this, I'll say 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2. Percentage of 2 to the power of 61 minus 1. It will be the same number. So, it will be the same number. Now, let's apply hash function on some boolean. It will be 1 and hash function on the false will be 0. Now let's apply hash function on float values. 
it will give you some value which will be there for the entire lifetime. Now what happens if we apply the hash function on a tuple? The moment we apply hash function, it will give you because, because tuples are immutable objects, so hash function will work perfectly. Now what if we change this tuple to list? Whether this will work? No. It will not work because list are unhashable types. Similarly, if we instead of this uh, list, we will pass the key values. And this will also say that hash function unhashable type dictionary. So now that you have got the basic understanding of the immutables and the hashable objects, like which uh, type of objects are immutable and which type of objects are uh, mutable, you can mutate. So and those objects, if you pass inside the hash function, whether it will work or not, now it will be very easy for us when we work on our rest of the course when we create a set uh, how to create the set whether we can pass a set inside a set whether we can create a uh, pass a list inside a set or a dictionary how it will work it will be very easy to understand so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please uh, press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video which is related to what is a python set how to define a python set and how to define empty python set so i'll see you in my next video thank you